Lamigin is known as the island born of fire due to volcanic eruptions that shaped the province. It is also listed as one of the most underrated destinations in the Philippines, and I agree with that. Maybe after watching this vlog, you'll get what I mean. Nun, we made our way back to Cagayan de Oro. This city is our starting point but there are also direct flights from Manila to Camiguin. Since we're already here in Cagayan de Oro, we have the option to ride a ferry to the island but we will be taking a cargo instead because we rented the private van again for our whole journey. If you're planning to commute using public transport, just hop on a bus to Balingoan Port. And once you're at the port, you can take a ferry or a cargo vessel to Benoni Port. We booked the St. Benedict Ocean shipping lines and since we have a van, we'll also need to pay a barge fee. The departure varies sometimes so it's better to check their Facebook page for the updated schedule. We have arrived here at Port of Benoni. It will take like one hour to our accommodation. Take note to enter Kamigin Island, you must register on the Clean Kamigin QR system. This is required for all travelers. They will scan your QR code as soon as you buy the ferry ticket, so make sure to do it before you go. For getting around the island, you have some options like Habal Habal and Multi Cabs. The fare from Benoni Port to Mambachao is around 30 pesos, but it can really vary. passenger princess. Let's go, guys. Usually, they offer to drive you around Kamigin and show you the attractions for about 800 to 1,000 pesos. However, if you can ride a motorbike, I'd suggest renting one instead. You can find rentals for as low as 500 pesos a day, giving you the freedom to explore at your own pace. We rented the Kamigin Volcano House located in Mambachao. This three-story house features a spacious living room and five bedrooms accommodating up to 15 people. It also has a nice balcony with a beautiful view of the surrounding nature. Ang ganda. The house also features four bathrooms including some of the essentials. Plus, the kitchen is equipped with a set of utensils allowing you to cook your own meals. There's no mobile signal here but Wi-Fi is provided. However, the Wi-Fi was down during our stay but it gave us a great chance again to disconnect from social media. It's quite far from the town proper but once we arrived here, we quickly fell in love with the place. We even considered staying in and skipping our plans itinerary. But of course, we're not here to rest, we're here to explore. So come along and let's get our journey started. We're now going to have lunch before kami mag swim sa falls. It's 12 minutes away from here. Sakto mga one na. Saktong lunch. Maraw na din. Kanina makulimlim. Kala ko uulan. Let's go! Kain muna tayo, tapos magpa falls na tayo. We had lunch at Samuel by Janzep which offers a variety of Filipino dishes. We ordered chop soy, sinigang na baboy, lechon kawali, steamed pompano, calamares, and kinilaw. The menu was quite simple, nothing special, but the food was okay. However, there's something missing from their fish kinilaw that my taste buds were looking for, though it wasn't that bad. It's very affordable, but the portions are really only for one to two people. So if you're with a group, just make sure to order more. After our quick lunch, we headed straight to our next stop, the Katibawasan Falls. We're here! We need to pay entrance fee first. So the entrance fee una. is 75. Every time na mag visit ng tourist spot, kailangan ng QR code. Isa lang naman, pag group. Okay. Ah, let's go! Pasok na tayo. Katibawasan Falls, standing at 250 feet tall, is the tallest waterfall on Kamigin Island. The view is absolutely stunning and below is a pool that's perfect for a nice pool day. Ligo na kami guys. Alamig! Woo! Punta tayo doon oh! The pool is quite shallow near the base of the falls and gradually gets deeper. While the water flow can be stronger than it is at the moment, you can still enjoy a peaceful and beautiful spot to unwind and connect with nature. Paano pag pinasakalaan mo, gagalit ka? Hindi pala eh! Lumoblob ka na! <laughs> One, two, three, go! Ano pa na? Yan, yan. Ay, kumakayo ko na ka! Go! Ayaw nila, ayaw nila sa mama! 
mga guys. So guys, ito kami nagsiswimming. Alam ko na, take a look at the falls. Super nice. I get so far to meet here. Behind the scene. Abangan nyo lang siya sa IG. Babalik na ho kami. Ano masasabi mo, Kuis? Mo ko sa app. Oh! Wala na too much. Oh! Wala na biglang tumalang ko yun. Dito pala si Chat. Ay, ayoko, ayoko sa mga aroy. Aroy, soy. Ay, no. Tapos nakumuha ulit nung wala si Chat, no. Pang. By the way, there's a bathroom here where you can shower with no extra fees. Ganito po yung tuna ng siyara sa lalaki. Kape. Bawasan. Kape bawasan. Paki. Bawasan. Napagalitan pa klap. Yung water dito. Basta, oh. Ganyan po siya pag hindi rolling yung camera. Grabe, napaka-meticuloso na nga. Ganda mo. Kita nyo guys, nakataas yung kilay habang nagsasalita. May grid. Heated conversation. Cut na natin, cut na natin guys. Mainit masyado dun. After a refreshing swim in the cool waters of Katibawasan Falls, we decided to try some keeping, a popular local snack in Visayas and Mindanao. This delightful treat is made from grated cassava that's steamed, sun-dried, and then fried into crispy chips. It's typically enjoyed with laptik, a sweet coconut jam that complements the keeping perfectly. Kasi kita yun natatakam dun sa gilid eh. Naingkit eh. Naingkit eh. This one is good but I can taste the cassava flavor more in the one I had from Dumaguete. Oh my god! Oh yan sa'yo. Wow! Make a wish! Make a wish! Lami! Lami! Wala ako din! The best moments are caught in the raw moment. Aww. Now we're not done yet in chasing waterfalls. Our next stop is the Wasan Falls, but this is kind of far from Katibuwasan, roughly 20 minutes away. We're here at the Wasan Falls. Another falls here in Kamigin. So another entrance fee, 75 pesos each. The Wasan Falls is a captivating 20 meter high waterfall that tumbles into a clear pool as its base. While it may not be as tall as Katibuwasan Falls, it definitely makes up for it with its strong, powerful flow. The pool is very shallow, making it perfect for everyone to wade in and this time all of my friends decided to swim enjoying the refreshing cold water together <laughs> We're going to see the sunken cemetery. Perfect time because it's sunset. The Sunken Cemetery is a cemetery that sank into the sea during a volcanic eruption in 1871. There's no entrance fee but visiting the cross requires a 100 peso boat fee and you can also snorkel here though additional fees may apply. Since it was already sunset, we decided to enjoy the view from the shore instead. You can also buy some souvenirs here like keychain, ref magnets, shirts, and more. So guys, we're here at checkpoint. We ordered kami ng isaw, port barbecue. Ayan, ito na yung dinner namin. Ito take out na lang namin, tapos sa house kami kakain. Guys, we're back at our accommodation. And we're gonna prepare our dinner. Yung binili namin na inuminaw. Tapos nagawa kong sa usawan, guys. Sipa, toyo. Kaya mas isa yung sibuyas. Tereng! Uy, dulo mo yung binili sa bayi mo. Isa lang! Yung nakabalot yung sayo. Ang sisipo yan. Kaya nga, isa nga lang yung kinasabi mo. Ay, isa lang mo. Isa lang. Yan. Tignan mo. 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 T
Ayan guys, yung setup namin tonight. We kain na kami guys. Mga We have ihaw ihaw, chicken heart and chicken natay. Then chicken steak. Suka. Nilagyan ko siya ng toyo kasi we don't have salt and pepper. Nilagyan ko sa sauce niya. Ling mo na mag. Hey, pay ang ano lagi mo dito. Chaga sa mga Okay. This Ihao Ihao is a popular street food here in the Philippines and it's pure comfort for us Filipinos. Perfectly paired with vinegar, it's great as a snack with a drink or even as a dinner just like we did. And eating this with good company makes it even better. May projector dito guys. Kaso walang wifi as of the moment. Saglalaro sila ng chess na sa screen. Dira, ni ni Bara. Ang bisha, saka inin ba ang horse? <laughs> Ang galing eh, no? Nagdala na kami ng Avalon. Ayan, tapos oh, bibinta nga nila ang Ibo. Ibig sabi ko? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Bigay nyo lang, bigay nyo lang. Gusto ko i-confirm eh. Kasi may isa pa ako na nag-dip. Order pa na order. Bakit ko pa ihiwalay yung sarili ko? Eh, gusto ko man na... Tama, 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 chat. Ganito, ganito. Sige, sige, sige. Walang rule yan. Ma'am, nag-enjoy po ako sa laro na yun. Kahit... We had a great time dancing, playing cards, and just enjoy each other's company in this beautiful house. And it was a perfect way to wrap up tonight. Good morning guys! It's time for island hopping. Buti na lang umaraw na kasi kanina umuulan yan. Ayan ho yung mga kalahok natin. Yo, 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 Pasi, represent, yo. You already know. Let's go, let's go! Yeah. We're going to White Island. Ilang minutes away? To get to the White Island, head to the White Island Ferry Terminal in Yumbig. Daling boat is 550 pesos for 4 nayon. Aside for the boat fee, you also need to pay an environmental fee for 50 pesos per head. Yeah, Ilang uh, minutes ko ya to? Uh, five minutes. Oh, five, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. We're now here at White Island. Grabe, ano lang pala talaga siya. Isang mahabang sandbar. There's no trees, there's no rocks. Tignan nyo, ang white ng sand. White Island is one of the most popular destinations in Kamigin Island and I was truly amazed by this stunning sunbar with soft powdery white sand. You can swim, sunbathe, or snorkel here and it's best to visit in the morning to avoid the crowds and the heat. But if you need some shade, you can rent an umbrella for 150 pesos. Wow, so beautiful. Kuya Magkalo, Island Hopping! Ano po, X-Bill po. Oh, sige, pwede po. May para sailing. Meron po po ito, ma'am. Eh, X-Bill na lang po natin. There's a vendor here selling sea urchins for 100 pesos for 3 pieces. It was my first time trying one fresh from the sea. Though it has a bit of a bite since there's only a small amount of meat inside, but I found it really tasty. It has a sweet, salty, and umami flavor with a hint of seaweed. This is called Tiyong. What's in Japanese? Spanish. Multilingual pula sih tu, ye. Ito, lagian yang hantu ter. Alis kasi lah, iu nak tayo. Sama aku sedang dua wan, na iu wan. Next time, kita lunch kami muna or kita kami nak makan. Atang puna. So we're gonna have our brunch before we come to Mantige. We're here at Alex Restaurant. And I hope it's the food because I'm so hungry now. Here at Alex Restaurant and Bar, they serve a range of Filipino dishes. The prices are very affordable and they are good for sharing up to 3 to 4 people per serving. And they also have platters for a big group. We ordered crab tacos, pancit guisado, tinolang isda, lechon kawale, lemon and garlic squid, volcanic seafood, and grilled tuna panga. Oh, aku ngah, aku ngah. Ini ni gawat apa mah? Nah, 
you love. Long serving. Everything was so good and perfectly cooked and I highly recommend trying it all. But my favorite has to be the scallops from the volcanic seafood. It's so fresh and perfectly seasoned. It's definitely worth it. Not only do they have great food, but they also sell some goods perfect for Pasalubo. Check out Sabrosa's products, the Kamigin's finest chocolates. Three days life. Long. Dark chocolate. Another three days. Marap, I'm really a big fan of their dark chocolate. It's absolutely tasty. After our unforgettable feast, we headed straight to Mahinog to visit Mantigue Island. The entrance fee is 75 pesos per person and you can rent a pump boat for 550 pesos for up to 6 people. You can also rent snorkeling gears and fins here for as low as 150 pesos. Punta na po kami Mantigue! May snorkeling fee, tsaka iba pa yung diving fee, and iba pa rin yung tour guide fee. So yung tour guide fee is 350 pesos. Four persons na yun. So kumuha kami ng tatlo since 11 kami. Tatlo sa amin magda-dive and the rest mag-snorkel lang. Team snorkeling. Ano ang team ko? Lakers! Let's go! There's so much to do here on Mantigue Island and it's absolutely beautiful. However, the weather wasn't great at this time. It was quite gloomy but only a typhoon could stop me from free diving. I know he's no what it seems Up there, I can see his smile Barakay or Shargao, but there is a comforting vibe here that just feels right. I can truly agree that this is one of the most underrated places in the Philippines, even though we've only scratched the surface of what this island has to offer. There are still so many spots we didn't get to check out, so we're definitely coming back to explore more of Kamigin next time. For now, it's been so nice to be here. This wraps up our Kamigin trip, so stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting adventures. Wow.